Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of cancer. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of cancer. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. Um, I want to apologize in advance for the dogs because they will be snoring in the background. This is like their favorite time to take a nap. All right, I scurried the crystal for you today, Cancer, and the image I saw within the crystal for you was uh, many different things. So the first thing I saw within the crystal was a Christmas tree, and it was all lit up. So I feel like there's going to be something uh, pertaining to this holiday season around Christmas time that is going to be significant to you. Um, I wrote notes on what I saw. Uh, the next thing I saw after seeing the Christmas tree lit up, let me get what I... It was a whole list of things here, so bear with me. Let me look at my notes. Okay, after seeing the Christmas tree lit up, I saw a fish. So it was a lot of emphasis on the fish. Now, fish can symbolize abundance. It can symbolize Christ. So there is like a like a, a holy abundantness that's going to be coming to you here with the fish. And also, after seeing the fish, I saw a knight on a horse. So I, that could represent, you know, your loyalty could represent, you know, your courage and that you stand up for what is right. And then after seeing that, I saw a messenger and the messenger looked like the uh, way they used to look in the Renaissance. So, you know, or they like the kind of like how the page of cups can sometimes look on the tarot cards. So but it, it looked like a messenger, like they had the feathered hat. And they were kind of standing there and behind them was a dragon with its mouth open, you know, kind of in a crouched position. And I feel like there's going to be some type of news, something's going to be said to you. And it's coming from uh, not such a great source. I feel like it's coming kind of from like a demonic source, someone that is in this very greedy dragon energy. And you're going to get like a message about this individual, possibly around the holiday season. Um, after seeing that the messenger was no longer a messenger, but then I saw it was a woman and she looked like she was standing in front of a cauldron and she had like a hood on and she was like dropping stuff in the cauldron, like she was doing spell work. So there could be someone that's within, um, this holiday season that is doing like witchcraft, doing some type of spell work. And the dragon was standing in a crouched position with its mouth open behind her as well. So I feel like this message, whoever it is, that you're going to find out about this individual and what they're doing behind the scenes. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you is the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords being here, this is letting you know not to miss out on an opportunity that's going to be presented to you. And that was clarified by the Seven of Wands. So it's letting you know, do not miss out on the opportunity to stand your ground in regards to a certain situation. It could be in regards to this person that is doing this type of spell work. Next card out for you is the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups being here, you're leaving behind this negative energy, what no longer serves you. I feel like you're leaving behind this person that is doing this toxicness to you, who's doing this spell work, who is uh, like slanderous, is what I feel. Next card out is the Six of Cups. So this person is from your past. This could be someone that you grew up with. This could be a relative, a sibling. Uh, take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. But this is someone that you've known since childhood that is doing this, who is doing this spell work. And it's going to be around the Christmas time that they're doing this or they're trying to like gossip and slander and cause like stir the pot type energy. Next card out for you is the Eight of Swords because they are trying to put you in a mental prison, trying to cause you conflict and stress because they themselves are in a mental prison. You know, misery loves company type energy. Next card out is the Sun card. So I feel like this is your energy here, Cancer, where you're happy. You're in your this soulmate energy. This is like on an innocent level. You know, this is lots of joy and abundance, you know, bursting here for you. And I feel like this person's in this Eight of Swords energy where they're just not happy about you being happy. That it puts them in a uh, a very negative state of mind. So I feel like you are being told to protect your relationship because this person or people are going to be very slanderous against it. And possibly even doing spell work. So also be careful. This is, could be um, for only a certain few of you out there. Be careful if anyone offers you food during the holiday season because I feel like they're, they're putting something in it, if that makes sense. Uh, the next card out for you is the Lover's card. So with the Lover's card being here, I feel like you're in a soulmate energy. This is love on a very divine level. And the next card out for you is the Star card. So you're going to be getting recognition. You're very spiritually connected here, spiritually aligned. Uh, this is 
you know, being very much connected to the celestial realm and also being in the spotlight and dreams coming true for you here with the star card. Next card off for you is the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups being here, this is happiness, joy, abundance here overflowing for you. So I do see lots of blessings coming your way. Next card out for you is Earth Mother Surrender. So it's letting you know to connect to the, you know, Mother Nature, to connect to, you know, being outside and grounding yourself in that Earth energy. And Earth Mother lets you know to let your tears fall and to be vulnerable within nature and to know that you are very much nurtured and loved by God you know, and, you know, the heavenly beings. So it's letting you know to just, you know, take time and recharge and connect to, you know, nature because you that's where I feel like you're very much connected to. And the next card out for you is also with her eye being here. This is like your third eye being open. Being in nature uh, awakens your third eye is what I feel here. Next card out for you is willow interconnection. So the medicinal benefit of the willow tree is aspirin has a pain relieving ingredient within its bark. And with inter interconnection, it's letting you know here that if you're uh, very much connected with people that are close to you, you could feel what they're feeling type energy. And to also don't take it to heart if someone's been like in a bad mood or snippy, you know, because we all have bad days. But all in all, I see a really good reading here for you. Just be aware of this person that is coming from this like demonic energy. Excuse the dog in the background. So, you know, whoever this person is, whether this is a family, relative, you know, a friend, you know, whoever it is, is trying to do some type of spell work, but I don't see them prevailing in it. I see them uh, being found out about it. And you are going to stand your ground against this individual. So all in all, I see a really good reading here for you, Cancer. And if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.